when you want to open a, a website with blogger the extension normally is uh, www.yourwebsite.blogspot.com but in today's video i'm going to show you how you can host your your website in in blogger at no cost so the only cost that will you will incur in this case is just buying a domain and that is where we are going to start so we're going to start by getting a domain so we head to namecheap so the first thing we said we're going to namecheap.com to to get here please use the link at the description when you use that link I will get a small commission and I will appreciate so we name cheap.com so and you're here to search for a domain so just enter the name that you wish to use and click on search you will get various extensions to choose from you can you can go for dot dot uh, guide dot com dot org depending with how much also you want to spend see like this one this is what i i this is what i bought registered last year 2020 and dot xyz is normally one dollar i think one dollar point something it's normally very very affordable so you can go with that but normally most the most common the most common extensions or tld are dot com dot org dot net you can choose any other that you want to use if you want dot co dot ke i'll also link it link link down below if you want to use a local a local like a kenyan um extension dot co dot ke uh, I, I have my recommendation i'm going to recommend them uh, at the description so you can choose that and still be able to link it to blogger so go ahead and choose uh, whichever for example if we want to go with this we add it to cut when you add it to cut you'll be prompt to and, and you check out you'll be prompt to sign in or sign up and then you will you will pay via card or or paper or whichever um available options that are there so don't go don't choose anything else just check out and pay for your for your domain you will receive an email and from there we are going to proceed on you'll be able to to, to log in and you will see your domain under domain list once you sign in under your dashboard in namecheap so let's go to the next step that is linking um or opening a blogger a blog a blogger website i just wanted to mention the, the pricing normally.com goes for 8.88 per year this is a first year with renewal at about 10.8 dollars so as you can see other extensions like uh, dot xyz you you start with one dollar for the first year then next, the following year you renew at 10.88 dollars so name cheap is quite affordable and i believe everyone can be able to afford this kind of fees to get started and anyway we're just paying this and we will not pay for for hosting the next thing that you are going to do is go to google and write blogger.com to proceed you click create your blog and then the next page that will open you will be able to select the the gmail account that you want to use so let's do that so here we are in the next step and now we're going to choose the name of of our blog so let me call this blog
growing online and then you can always edit this then we go next the next one is where we will choose our address so in this case is our domain what 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 our website will be called this is a bit long just make sure you always always use short and and easy names that people can remember so it shows it's available if you put a name here that is not available it won't show here as you see you see it's not available so you just keep trying for a name until you get a name that you like and it's available so we're going to go with this name top online daily tips the blogspot.com it's available so the next the next uh, thing we're going to do is click on next and then uh, put in your display name And then we finish. It's now processing and our and our blog is ready. Now the next thing is to work on, on our website, the blogger website, and we are going to start um, by going to the theme. So once you create once you create a website you need to pick a theme for your website you can read along uh, and close once you've read then go ahead and choose a theme that you'd like to use so they're very nice they're very nice themes that depending with the, your business so look for one that that suits you It's just a simple block. It, it comes in different colors. So once you choose the block that you want, I mean the, the theme that you want to use, go ahead and click on apply. Let's just use this one for now. And then we view how our block looks like now. So we chose a simple, a simple uh, theme. We are going to change this theme later. So this is just a simple theme to get started and show you how you how you can do it because you may not need to to use to use a custom domain but just choose to stay with the blogspot.com domain so you can follow along and um, work on your site just as i'm doing so let's work on the let's let's do a few changes so go to layout To remove the, the top navigation bar, we are going to go to, to nav bar, then click on edit, because we, we, we don't want it, uh, we want to click on off, select off and save changes. Go up there and save arrangement. 
now let's see how our website looks like refresh and you see the top bar is gone let's see what else uh, we need to change or remove go back to layout From the layout you can be able to add to add or remove anything that you don't want you can remove this section if you want to keep it you can just let it stay then you save arrangement Let's see the um you can add you can add copyright at the footer just click at the at, on the footer then you um you, you can add the year and the name of your blog so you click on footer to do that just click on edit and then you change or you edit and save changes so this is how our website looks now as you can see down there the footer is indicated this it looks a bit more professional now so you can you can leave it as it is if you don't to to do a custom um, a custom domain now let's go to editing more editing so that we change to custom domain so we've gone to settings, then block address, edit, then we go to Namecheap. So from Namecheap, we are able to see the, the domain, the domain that we bought, that is the domain. Copy so that you're sure it's the same name that you're going to indicate so that you don't make any mistake so to to, to access it you'll go to when once you sign to so sign in to name chip you go to domain list and then you go to manage select the domain that you want to use go to manage go to advanced dns Just follow what I'm doing and you'll be able to successfully use Blocker as your hosting. So let's look up on how to link up the a domain to the website uh, to blogger so there it is So we need to add new record under under our advanced DNS. So these are the records that we're going to to be pointing to. So and it applies it applies in all in all websites. So this is what we're going to copy. Go back to Namecheap and input this in our in our settings. So go back to, to, to Namecheap and click on add new record, click on a record, then you put at, 
the IP address you paste you paste what we have copied. And then you save changes by clicking on the on the mark. Um, then let's go back to to add another record. We need to add all those all the records that we've seen. So again, you do the same. So normally you add you add uh, yeah there's a, there's a small difference in in numbers. So just make sure you copy and paste. It's very easy. Save changes. Add new record again. A record. Note it's a record. Just follow this and you will never be charged again for hosting. Blogger is free and you can have your, your blog. Um, you can link it to, to Google Console and your 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 website will appear in to appear in, in Google search. So no worries about appearing in Google search. As long as you're creating good content, you will appear. The only difference between Blogger and WordPress is that WordPress is more flexible in terms of inputting plugins, uh, and also you can change themes every any time without affecting your your, your site. But if you're on a budget, this is a good way to get started. So the only thing that you'll be minding about is is the cost of, of renewal of domain, which is about ten dollars point something per, per per year. So the last one is C name record. All this is very well highlighted in this in 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 the support the knowledge base under name chip so at host we are putting this and then target is is um, the ghs.google.com then you put 30 minutes just do as i'm doing and it will be successful so the last one the last one you're getting this the 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 ip address from your from the blog from the blogspot website that you created so choose cname record then add then target We need to get something from here, from our site. So redirect, make sure it's yes. You see you need to you need to click on set that party domain and then now you you do you do http as in you just continue you indicate your your the new custom website or custom domain it can be xyz it can be dot com it can be dot online it can be dot shop it can be anything that you want So this is the domain that you bought at Namecheap. This is what we are highlighting or indicating under that party domain settings. 
and then we save click on save now you will you will, this is the error you'll get this error so from the error you'll be able to to use these details and link it to 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 name chip so copy that let's go back to advanced dns under host we we paste it okay then target go back go back to to our site the blogger site and copy that Thirty minutes, and then save changes. And you're good. This is you've done well so far. If you've reached at this point, you've done well so far. So now let's go back to our site. Now we have added all the information that is required. Um, now what we need to do here is click on save. Just go ahead and click on save. And then we need to do one more thing. We need to, to we need to redirect the, the blog the blogspot.com sorry website to our new to the new domain that you created and and connected from namecheap so to do that we need to just under basic settings look for for redirect option and there it is click on redirect and save <coughs> make sure the the https availability is the option you've chosen is yes and there you have it guys it's successful we've successfully been able to redirect let's just confirm just copy the link and paste it we see if it's successful and there we have it guys isn't this awesome we've been able to 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 host our domain with blogger and get a free ssl certificate if you're happy with what you've done so far give it a like subscribe and share it with anyone who will be need who is on a budget or need to make an extra an extra website and they don't have a budget at the moment or they just don't want to spend money at the moment now you can do any changes uh, from 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 layout so you'll be using your blogger you'll be logging into blogger through your gmail and then you'll be able to make any changes for example if you want to to change um, if you want to change this part the the online success guide that is the the website title you can do that by going back to to layout So you go to layout, then uh, go to header and edit, click on edit, then choose file to, so that you're able to upload your logo and use your logo instead of the blog title. So I'm going to link different. I'm going to link uh, to to leave a link of on a video about how to connect your website with Google Console so that your your website appears in Google search. 
and i'm also going to leave uh, a link where you can access different themes that are connected to blogger and they are free so if you have a shop you can be able to get an e-commerce uh, theme um, an e uh, um, a theme for your business for your agency if you're just doing blogging like this site you'll be able to get um, a theme that that will be you know it looks very well it looks nice and all this is free so guys that's it i hope this video has been helpful please give it a like subscribe and share it and i hope to see you in the next video